This video will instruct on how to design and install a mosquito control system by MCS. Read all safety rules in the manual prior to installation or operation. System Design A typical home setup will have the main house, exterior privacy fence, landscaping, and perhaps a swimming pool. To ensure you get the right kit for your home, you need to measure all of the areas that need coverage. Measure the entire fence line, size of your house and patio, and the distance to your pool or other area of interest from the fence line. Then create a drawing or diagram of your yard. You will use this diagram to mark the location and placement of the 55-gallon reservoir and the number of nozzles needed for complete coverage. Tank Placement the 55-gallon reservoir tank should be placed on the side of the house out of the main traffic areas, either next to your AC unit or pool equipment. Do not put on the patio. A 24-inch by 24-inch stepping stone or cement pad may be needed if the ground is not stable. A 110-volt grounded outlet within 15 feet is needed for proper operation. Nozzle placement. With your diagram and measurements, you can now calculate the number of nozzles needed for complete coverage of your property. Nozzles need to be placed 8 to 10 feet apart. Count the number of nozzles needed around your fence perimeter, your house and patio, and other areas like the pool or landscaping. Once you have the total number of nozzles, you can then order the appropriate sized kit. Kits are offered in 30, 40, and 50 nozzles. Mounting locations for the nozzles typically include eaves, fences, and trees. Use the copper risers to place in the ground if no tree or fence is available. Basically, nozzles need to be placed where mosquitoes and insects thrive. Nozzle installation. Begin by using your tubing cutter. Make a clean insert tubing into the push to connect fitting on your main output port. Make sure you have a solid connection and continue. Begin by coming out of the tank along the side of your home. Use a T connection coming out so you can loop out one direction and loop it to the other direction. Creating a loop provides for maximum coverage and better pressure. For the patio area, getting aerial coverage is the best method for using Eve's mounted nozzles. In most cases, nozzles should be attached to the soffit when it meets the backside of the fascia to conceal the tubing. Then mount the nozzles and tubing around the patio and drop the tubing down the opposite side. If possible, use downspouts on gutters to hide the tubing leading up to the eaves. Next, create a loop by running more tubing underground until you get to the opposite fence line. Don't bury any underground connections until the system has been fully tested. When attaching to a fence, use the lower or middle supporting rails to keep the spray down low. When attaching to trees, six feet seems to be the optimal height. For those areas not covered by the nozzle perimeter, you will need to branch off the main line with a T connector. Run the tubing buried underground from the T to the desired area and add nozzles as needed. When possible, Create a secondary loop by continuing to the opposite side of the property and adding a second T into the main perimeter. Remember to concentrate on coverage for your patio and other areas that you spend time in. System Testing and Startup Once all nozzles are connected, it is time to test the system. Always unplug the system when filling with water to prevent risk of electric shock. Make sure your main output line has already been attached to the reservoir. Now fill the tank up halfway with clean or filtered water only. Plug in the power cord. Then remove four to five nozzles to flush out any debris that may have made it into the tubing. Open up the control box on the top of the reservoir. Your system should come with a time and date preset. To begin testing, go to the home screen, depress the selector knob, and select manual spray. The system will begin spraying. Use this time to visually inspect all connections and make sure the system is operating properly. If you find a leak, turn the system off, repair the leak, then test again until you are satisfied everything is working properly. 
bury and properly attach and secure all tubing and connections. Once satisfied the system is operating properly, add your desired auto spray times. Midnight and 6 a.m. are the two most popular times. Leak Detection Feature Both the Platinum and Smart Platinum feature leak detection. On the control panel, enter the Technician Mode section of your control panel and continue to flow rate. This is where you set your normal flow to activate the leak detection feature. Depress the selector. Your system will start and begin to calculate your normal output. After the output number stabilizes, save your normal output to activate leak detection. See Control Panel Operations under the Resources tab for detailed explanation. Once satisfied everything is working properly, the last step is to add the insecticide of your choice and top off with water. Make sure and follow all laws and regulations according to your product label. Your system is now ready for operation. Please refer to the installation manuals and videos found on the Resources tab for more detailed instructions. Thanks and enjoy your new system!